Uh, the big number, 48.3 million. What's that referring to? That's the number of folks expected to travel by road along this holiday and 4.2 million by air at this holiday. It's according to AAA, the total number of traveling um, this season up 13% from last year. Dr. Mm -hmm. Ashton, we have been spending a lot of time here at ABC News focusing on climate yep. change. And, and one part of that we need to be talking about is uh, clean drinking water. Yeah, and the relationship between climate change in our health, this time focusing on water, clean drinking water, among other things. Um, so let's look at what the connection is, because this is something that may, many people may not really think about. Number one, as temperatures increase, just weather-wise, tends to increase droughts, then rocks do shed more minerals something that I learned about as I was researching this. This then can lead to an increase in acidic waters, particularly mm. in alpine or mountainous regions. The concentration of these rare earth minerals, TJ, in drinking water, it's increasing, but we don't really understand what the true impact or effects on our health are. So this is something that is definitely happening, and we really are living in a, in a major science experiment. Uh, I was catching it there. You, you said what regions are you're more likely, what, what areas are, are, you said more of just mountainous regions uh, where this is more likely, to, yeah. that runoff and whatnot is what you're talking yep. about. Um, t uh, testing also water. Huh? All right. Uh, wastewater and COVID. Uh, what are we talking about here? Testing right. wastewater for COVID? And we have spoken about that here on the show before because there have been many cities in the United States that are doing surveillance testing on wastewater. In particular, in the state of Massachusetts, they are watching in the metropolitan Boston area levels increase of SARS-CoV-2 in the wastewater. This water is tested three to seven times a week. They can actually detect rising levels and they have correlated these levels as they increase hmm. with a prediction of increasing cases hospitalizations and deaths this is also being done at colleges universities so it's one way that public health wise we're using water uh, to help us in surveillance and this is something that we're keeping an eye on in this in the area of Boston you are keeping an area uh, an eye on all things Dr. Ash we Thank always you, appreciate friend. you well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.